know, it's not like it used to be. <laughs> Maori was outmaneuvered, outnumbered, and outgunned. Even so, it was the Maori who chose the time and place of the final battle in the Waikato. Leading them was a chief called Rewi Maniapoto. <laughs> Seventy years later, this great battle was relived in the early New Zealand feature film, Rewi's Last Stand. The place the Waikato chiefs chose for the showdown was Orakau. Inside a crude par, 300 men, women and children waited for the soldiers. As a defensive position, it was almost useless. The hill was too low to get much protection, and the par didn't even have a supply of fresh water. More than a thousand troops closed in, but for three days, the defenders held them off. After time, they refused to surrender. When at last their ammunition was nearly gone, the Maori made a run for it. Only a handful got through. The rest were cut down by soldiers waiting in the swamps. Queen Victoria's soldiers had triumphed. The Maori had lost the battle and the war, 